Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve a problem which is from geometry and which is really interesting. So uh, let's start with the problem. <clears throat> so we have given a quadrilateral ADBC. Uh, we have also given the uh, diagonals of this quadrilateral uh, where length of AB is A and length of BC is B and we are also given the angle between them which is theta and it is equal to 120. So and we, need, we are asked to find out uh, the area of this quadrilateral. So <clears throat> now how do we start? So what we can do is, we can observe that the uh, area of this quadrilateral, area of, so I, uh, area of quadrilateral ADBC, which is same as the area of this triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADB, so which is same as area of triangle ABC plus uh, area of triangle ADC. Now to find the area of triangle ABC we must know that what is the height of uh, this triangle. So we have given this diagonals AB that is same as the uh, base of this triangle AC, uh, ABC or ACB. So what we do is we'll uh, draw a perpendicular onto AB from C. So draw this perpendicular. Uh, let's say this, this this point is X, and also draw this perpendicular from D onto AB, and uh, let's say this point is y. So, <clears throat> so what is the area of uh, triangle ABC which is same as half times AB times this height which is CX uh, plus uh, the half times uh, base is same AB and the height is DY. So, if you take this uh, quantities common, so what we get is half times AB plus uh, into CX plus DY and which is same as half times this AB is same as A and this CX plus DY. So, we need to find out that uh, what is CX plus DY. So this is where uh, this angle comes into the picture. So let us find what is this CX and DY. So observe that uh, this angle is theta and this is straight line which means uh, this angle must be so this theta is 120. So this angle must be 180 minus 120 which is 60 and similarly this angle is 60. So from this what we get is, so let us call this, this as 1 and so we know that from uh, diagram, so from diagram what we will get sin 60 which is same as Cx upon uh, PC okay so sine 60 which is equal to CX upon PC and so which implies CX is equal to sine 60 is root 3 by 2 so this is root 3 by 2 times PC and similarly from this uh, right angle triangle 
साइन सिक्सटी विल बी डी वाई अपॉन डी पी सो अगेन साइन सिक्सटी सो दिस इज फ्रॉम ट्राइंगल पी एक्स सी एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम ट्राइंगल डी वाई पी साइन सिक्सटी विच इज डी वाई अपॉन डी पी सो दिस मीन्स डी वाई इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाई टू टाइम्स डी पी सो वी गॉट दिस सी एक्स एंड डी वाई सो वी एक्ट द सम ऑफ दिस टू थिंग्स सो If you see that uh, c x plus d y, c x plus d y, from this we will get that this root three by two uh, times p c plus root three by two times uh, d p. So this is same as root three by two times p c plus d p. So what is this p c plus d p? Let us observe. Uh, let us see this diagram. So p c plus d p is nothing but d c, which is the diagonal of the quadrilateral. So this, so which is same as root three by two. Times the diagonal DC. Uh, since PC plus DP is equal to DC, and we are we are given that DC is uh, B. So this is same as root three by two upon uh, times B. So finally we get that CX plus DY is same as root three by two upon B. so what was the area of quadrilateral adbc so let us see this again so it was same as half times a into cx plus dy so this is half times a into cx plus dy cx plus dy is same as root 3 by 2 times b so ultimately we get that uh, area to be root 3 by 4 times ab so this is the final answer thanks a lot for watching please like share and subscribe if you find this useful and also press that bell icon to get the all updates